Hi everyone. So, uh, a few months ago, Cydia.akemi.ai, that's Karen's repository, the developer of AppSync, the uh, app sideloading tool uh, for jailbroken iOS devices, uh, went down. And it's an issue uh, that is out of her control at the hosting provider, and it'll be up at some point. Most recently, early September was the specified date. However, it's not very early in September anymore and it's still down. So what I'm gonna be doing today is just giving a guide here on two different methods of installing AppSync while that repository is down. So uh, option A is the easy way and option B is the not as easy way. Now why would you go the not as easy way? Well, let me show you the easy way. So go into Cydia here. This is too bright. Okay, go ahead and add yourself a new repository, and the address is Big Flop two three four dot GitHub dot IO slash repo. So we're going to add this. And now in here, you have AppSync Unified. And this is the version of AppSync you want if you're on iOS 5 and up. Um, if you are on iOS or iPhone OS 3, that's on a separate repository that's still up and was unaffected. If you're on iOS 4, then the easy method will not work because AppSync for iOS 4 isn't on this repo. Now, even though we can go ahead and install this and it should work, um, you still might not want to use, use the version from this uh, repo, depending on what you think, because it's not from the official source. Uh, plenty of people are using it. Uh, it's seemingly correct and fine and working. However, if you're having issues or if you just would prefer to have it from the official source, um, what you can do the hard way is, uh, install the deb file, that's Debian package, the type of file format that jailbreak tweaks are distributed in, you can install that manually and download straight from the Wayback Machine from uh, the repo that's down. And then move the file over to your device and install it. So if you have an iOS 4 device, you'll need to do that. Uh, and if you have an iOS 5 and up device, you don't need to do that, but you might still want to. So. Here's how you do that. So in the description, I've left the download links for both AppSync Unified and AppSync for iOS 4. Um, I also have them in Notepad here on my computer. You can see these are just web.archive.org going to cydia.akemi.ai. Um, and those links will be in the description along with this URL. And so you can just go to go on your PC and download these. And then you'll want a couple of different programs on your computer. You'll want iTunes, the latest version of iTunes, and you'll want the version that is not from the Microsoft Store. Honestly, depending on what device you have, that, that version of iTunes may work here, but I never recommend it because it breaks a bunch of tools that rely on iTunes as drivers for iDevices. So just don't use it, it's a bad idea. I'll leave the right iTunes link in the description. So make sure you have that installed because iTunes includes the drivers so that your computer can talk to the phone or the iPad or the iPod. Um, and then you'll also wanna download a tool called iExplorer, also linked in the description. I've been using iExplorer for years now. Uh, there's a paid version, but you don't need it for this. Um, I've never even bought the paid version. It just allows you to do some additional file transfer -y things and browse iTunes backups and stuff like that. Just a useful little utility. And all we're going to do here is just make sure you have the device plugged in. There's my iPhone 5 on iOS 7. Uh, then go to media folder here and you could just go anywhere. I'll just go in DCIM, which is the image for folder. It really doesn't matter. Right click, add files. And then from here, I have the two deb files downloaded. I'm gonna go with AppSync Unified since we're running iOS 7. And then it 
pastes it right in. And then we're done here. Yay, messy desk. All right, so back on the device here, you'll now want to download one of two file managers. On newer versions of iOS, uh, you can use Filza, which is the newer file manager. Um, I, it, it doesn't work out the box in iOS 7. You have to do a couple little tricks to get it working on iOS 7. I have a video on that um, if you want to do that. But if you're on a version where Filza is giving you trouble, uh, you can use iFile as well, which is like the older tool. And you'll definitely need iFile on anything pre-iOS 7. Um, so both will work just about the same. So all you'll want to do here, I was already in the right folder, but if, assuming you put the file in the same place as I was, go to your, like, the slash means are in the root directory, and then go to var mobile media dcim, and there it is. And then you can just click on it, hit install, and I got to, did I uninstall? The version I installed from the repository? I did not. Respring. Okay, okay. So. You can go here. Install. It'll do it. And then it won't pop up a message saying it's done. It'll just eventually finish and you can hit done. And then that's that. Back to Cydia here. It should show up. Yep. There it is again. It still says it's from Big Floppa's repo, probably because it just recognizes it as the same file, but we installed it manually. So now I'll show you how, to, how it works in iFile. It's pretty much the same. You just navigate to the same directory. I'll go back. Again, we're just in root, var, mobile, media dcim there it is then you'll want to hit installer and then again finished hit done and uh should again show up in Cydia. yep so there you go um that's how you do it both ways and uh it should work pretty much the same on any iOS version. Just make sure you use an app sync for iOS 4 if you're on iOS 4. Um, and also make sure with app sync unified that you just do a restart after installing it because sometimes it needs to uh, restart a full device restart um, in order to start working. So make sure you do that and then you're good to go and if you want the rest of the process of side loading you can go to my like second most viewed video which is a tutorial on how to do that this is mainly just an update for that hopefully a temporary one while uh akemi is down so hope this was helpful uh i'll see everyone uh later